Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. I realized last month marked the five year anniversary of this channel, so I decided to come up with the most honest tagline yet running random malware since 2011. There you go, I literally just made a joke of myself. Today we are taking a look at Kaspersky's free anti ransomware tool. And this is supposed to be free for business as well as home. And it seems fully automatic. I didn't really see any complicated settings in here. If we go into manage applications, we have blocked and trusted applications. And the home screen is just, well, what can I say about that? It's just plain simple. The only option you get is to buy their premium protection. We did take a look at Bitdefender's anti-ransomware module separately. So I decided I would do something similar for Kaspersky. Now if we check in settings, you get two options, actually a bit more than that, but two critical options. One is to enable self-defense. Now, if you watched my Bitdefender anti-ransomware video, you'll notice that we had an issue because Bitdefender self-defense was actually tied down to the active threat control module. Now here we have a clear self-defense option, which you can turn on and off manually. It also has a system tracing option, so you can log events. But we're just going to test it in default settings, which is what I always do for new products. So as you might have expected, we have uh, our ransomware samples over here. These are some of the most popular and deadly samples out there. Of course, by now, most of them are well known. So we'll see how Kaspersky's anti-ransomware deals with it. If it has any signature component, I think it should pick them up easily. So let's start with um, some of the easy samples, Jigsaw. Now as scary as Jigsaw may seem, it's actually a fairly simple ransomware. And it is immediately blocked by Kaspersky anti-ransomware. It says malicious program was blocked, Trojan Win32 Bazon. So Jigsaw wasn't able to infiltrate the system. Let's try Locky. Once again, Locky was blocked as well. We're trying to go from uh, the less threatening ones to the more threatening ones so that if something breaks the system, we will know how many samples roughly Kaspersky was able to protect us against. All right, Globe seems to have been blocked very easily too, and we seem to be getting the same signature for pretty much all of these samples, which is a little bit surprising. Let's try Phantom now, the Windows Update ransomware. Once again, same signature. I guess these aren't really signatures in terms of um, AV language. What they probably are is um, a general ransomware pattern matching algorithm or something like that. Let's see if it can deal with server. Remember, server is able to shut down AV products. So let's see if Kaspersky can survive. Well, once again, it is blocked quite easily. Wow, this is going much more smoothly than I anticipated. Okay, now it's time for Shade. Pretty deadly ransomware, but Kaspersky just doesn't seem to care. They're all the same signature and they're all blocked. Now we're going to go to Satana. This is the one that modifies your MBR and just kills your system. But once again, Kaspersky's on top of that. Now we've got the red and green variants of Petya. These ransomware shared their home with Kaspersky. A lot of these are from Russia. Hmm. The system seems to have hung up on this one for some reason. Okay, it's because we have this uh, UAC alert. But it does not work. Kaspersky successfully blocked that. Finally, we're going to run Petya Green, and that seems to be blocked too. Once again, we get the UAC alert, but it's not able to execute. So, wow, that was a fairly successful run by Kaspersky's anti-ransomware. 
All of these are now in our blocked application list and we can make them trusted or unblock if we want. But by default, it was just uh, amazing. And this is a great free tool, doesn't seem to be heavy on the system. As you can see, it barely takes up any resources and you can run it alongside whatever AV protection you have. So regardless of whether you're running Bitdefender, Gdata, doesn't matter, Avast, you can just run this alongside your main AV program and get additional ransomware protection. I am a little confused as to how this program is working. Is it just a pattern matching for ransomware? Is it a behavioral analysis? Is it a cloud-based intelligence? Or maybe it's a combination of all of that, but well, it just blocked all that ransomware quite easily. So whatever it's doing, it's working. Now these aren't exactly the latest zero day threats. So if it's using a signature component, it's really hard to judge, but well, Given it's a free and lightweight tool, it could be quite handy, even if it's not really foolproof. So I hope you enjoyed this um, quick video. Let me know your experience with Kaspersky's anti-ransomware tool. In the future, I might test it with, um, you know, really new samples and we'll see what we get. If I get something interesting, I'll just make a short video about it. But for now, this is Leo. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay informed. Stay secure.